Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into her side. It was on the way back from Tinyan to Lake T. They just delivered the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. 1,100 men went in the water. The vessel took 12 minutes to go down. It was half hour until we saw the first shark. Tiger, 13 for it. You know, I know that chief. You look from the dorsal to the tail. What we didn't know was the mission was so secret. Had no distress signal they sent. No, they wouldn't know we were missing, not for another week. Come first light, the sharks, they come first. So we got ourselves into small groups, little squares, like you see on a battlefield, like a calendar, like the Battle of Waterloo. You see, the idea being that when the sharks come, the man who's nearest, he, he starts pounding and hollering and screaming. And sometimes, the shark, he goes away. No, but sometimes, he doesn't go away. No, sometimes the shark, he looks right into you. Looks right into your eyes. You see, the thing about the shark is he's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes. <laughs> and when he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living. Oh no. Until he bites you. And then those black eyes roll back white. And the high pitched screaming starts. And the ocean turns red. And all that hollering and pounding makes no difference. They all come in and they break you to pieces. By the end of dawn that first day, we lost a hundred men. We don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand. You know, on Thursday, I ran to an old friend of mine, Herbie Robinson from Cleveland. A ball player, lots of mate. Uh, thought he was asleep. So I reached over to wake him up. You know, there he was, just bobbing up and down in the water. Turned. He'd been bitten in half below the waist. <laughs> you know, Mr. Hooper, <laughs> it wasn't until noon on the fifth day that finally <coughs> a Lockheed Ventura come in low and see us. Uh, there was a young pilot younger than you, and he'd come in low and he seen us. <coughs> Three hours later, a big fat PBY comes down, starts to lift us from the water. Gotta tell you, that was the most frightened I was, waiting my turn. Uh, I'll never wear a life jacket again. No. 1,100 men went in the water, 316 came out, sharks got the rest. June 29, 1945. Anyway, we delivered. Gallop apace, you fiery footed steeds, towards Phoebus' lodging. Such a wagoner as Phaeton would whip you to the west and bring on cloudy night immediately. Spread thy close curtain, love performing night that runaway eyes may wink, and Romeo leap to these arms on top of an unseen. Lovers may seek to do their amorous rites by their own beauties, or if love be blind, it best agrees with night. <laughs> Come, civil knight, thou sober-suited matron all in black, and learn me how to win a losing match played for a pair of stainless maidenhoods. Put my unmanned blood fading in my cheeks with thy black mantle till strange love grow bold. Think true love acted simple in the modesty. Come, night. Come, Romeo. Come, thou day and night. For thou wilt lie upon the wings of night whiter than new snow upon a raven's back. Come, gentle night. Come, 
loving black-browed knight. Give me my Romeo. And when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. He shall make the face of heaven so fine that all the world would be in love with night. Pay no worship to the garish sun. My friend, I understand fully 
your predicament. It's like when your heart leads you down the wrong path. I... what? <laughs> uh, um, I was talking about a shark. <laughs> you know what a shark is, they're, they're, they're big, they like teeth. I've never seen such a thing before. Oh, let me tell you about it. I once saw a great white, he was 40 feet, if I'm going to keep exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'd been in the water for a while. Could have been the sun. Could have been the water. <laughs> Could have been dying of thirst. I don't know, maybe I was hallucinating, but he was 40 feet if he was anything. Yeah. <laughs> I do not know what you're doing. <laughs> trying to make you fall in love with me. Uh, I only have one love. <laughs> <laughs> At times. <laughs> oh, there you go again with the pouting. <laughs> and the sea turns red. I don't understand you. I understand the sea. I understand the shark. Now <laughs> 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 you've broken me. I will take out the ship. Forget about the sharks. I'm sure, there's sharks over in that. Uh, where are you going? New York. <laughs> I don't think it exists. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.